Hey, what's up everybody? Frank Slauson here. And I just want to show you what I got in the mail. I actually uh, just recently got this in the mail here a couple days ago. And what it is, is a Back to the Future customized Back to the Future uh, clock. Somebody made this and uh, put together all the the stuff that important things that had to do with the trilogy of Back to the Future, including like the Great Sports, Almanac, Bifco, the Hoverboard, Back to the Future thing, the thing with Doc, Pizza Hut logo, and Beaufort Tanner, and Cafe 80s, and Pepsi, and everything. And yeah, I thought it was pretty cool to purchase, and I got it directly from Amazon.com. And uh, yeah, it was definitely something that I was happy that I that I got and I want to show you guys uh, it's a custom made Back to the Future trilogy clock and uh, it was a little, a little spendy uh, from Amazon but uh, I'm not going to give away the price but uh, I thought well it'd be great to have uh, basically just because uh, I don't have really anything else that, that would be uh, that's uh, Back to the Future related that would be considered a uh, clock or it would be like a clock, and I figured, you know, the time had everything to do with Back to the Future in the first place, so why not get a custom-made Back to the Future clock? And who knows, maybe it might be worth something a little later on, later in the future. <laughs> no pun intended. And let's see, I was going to show you this. I have my uh, light on here. This uh, camera has a light feature, so I got a little light shut off, so I will show you this. I did buy ET a Blu-ray, but I don't think I ever showed you guys my... The fact that I actually bought the E.T. Uh, E.T. figurine for the 30th anniversary of E.T. That, that was pretty cool. I'm just keeping it as a package because I figure, eh, don't, no need to uh, take it out like I did with all these here. <laughs> Took all this out and I just probably shouldn't have, but oh well. All my bobbleheads and everything and be a Jews and uh, All types of good stuff here. I was going to show you this too. Uh, I got my autograph picture from Alex and Vincent too, as well. I said, Frankie, friends to the end. Alex Vincent. And that was him right there. He played Andy. Uh, now, I mean, he's obviously a lot older now. He's only two years older than I am. But it was fun to talk to him. And I'm glad you guys enjoyed that interview. Probably one of the best ones that I did in, in all the interviews that I've done. We'll be doing more interviews here later on. Uh, there probably won't be as many now. I'm going to probably take a little break from doing that. Uh, just until I can find some more people to interview. Plus this month with the TNA Wrestling coming up. And the and the R&R &R Wrestling. The independent promotion that's come to Greenbush here. And with, Buck, with Rock and Roll Buck Zoom Off. I want to uh, be able to uh, uh, tape that and everything as well. Oh, those lights are so bright. But uh, I just wanted to show you some things, and uh, let's see, what else can I show you? I think I've shown you this before. The Batman wall hanger. It's a wall hanger, but it's I got it on the roof, or I got it on the ceiling. So it's a ceiling hanger. <laughs> it's pretty neat, though. I like it. And then my last action hero poster. Pretty nice poster. I should get a frame for it. Maybe eventually I will. Uh, the Roseanne. This is part of the set. So I got a two pack for eleven ninety nine at Target when Mike and I were at Target. Or yeah, last week. And what else can I show? Oh yeah, I got a picture of uh the Joker, the original Joker, or Jack Nicholson anyway, as the Joker. Thought, well what the hell, you know, nothing better than that. You gotta have a picture of the Joker. Especially if you can have a theme room, you know. It's a movie theme room. Let's see what else can I show you that I haven't showed yet? Oh yeah, I got this a while back ago, uh, before Halloween. I ordered a a uh, Elm Street Nightmare on Elm Street sign, and it's uh, it's official Nightmare on Elm Street merchandise. It's all it is is this plastic or styrofoam, but it looks like a real sign, and then it only costs like ten bucks. And I thought at first it'd be like you know, a metal sign, but 
it's actually just a plastic side, but it's still nice, and I like the detail and the artwork and all that. I mean, if you're a fan of Nightmare on Elm Street, you know, go on Amazon.com. You can find a lot of rare uh, things, you know, for, for, or offer things that are just rare and random that most people don't even own, you know. And that's what I like to do, rather than just buy DVDs and Blu-rays all the time. I uh, like to search for stuff that's rare sometimes. And then I got the Donkey Lips autograph picture, as you probably seen before. And I think that's pretty much all I'm going to show. I could probably show you my... I can show you... If you haven't seen this yet, I'm surprised. You, I'd be really so surprised. to did get E.T. on Blu-ray. What I like about it uh, is the same thing like what I like about most of the Universal releases on Blu-ray. If you put it on pause... And you pause it, because you got to go to the bathroom or something, or get something to eat, or you just want to pause it. It has a screensaver on it, which I think is pretty cool. I like that. I wish more uh, companies would do that with, with their Blu-rays, because, I mean, it's, it's a pretty nice... I could have got the one that was 30 bucks. that was a really nice packaging, like a steel book, but I don't have that type of money. And, and I'd rather, if, and, and even what I did, I mean, I just wanted the movie. You know, I don't care, you know, I don't care... If it comes with the DVD, but like with digital copy and ultraviolet, that might be nice if you use it, but I never use it. I just I just want one format of the movie, and that's all I want, you know. But it's still a good it's still a good set anyway. They did a lot of good work with the with promoting it and stuff. But anyway, I just wanted to show you that and say once again thank you to everybody who's been keep up to date with me on on YouTube and hopefully. Uh, I'll get some more interviews later on as this year progresses, but uh, yeah, they're a lot of fun to do, and a lot of people ask me, well, "What's your secret? How do you how do you get all these people?" Well, you know, I'll explain it some other day. I think <laughs> it's just a secret, my own my own secret, but it's easy to do. Anybody can do it uh, if you're into that type of thing where you want to interview or somebody that you have idolized when you were a kid, or just somebody who you might think it was kind of neat to have as a guest, you know. But uh, anyway. I'm Frankie Slauson, and we'll see you guys again. Uh, the next video that you'll see more likely will be the R&R &R Wrestling uh, here on November 21st, and I'll put up before Thanksgiving. So we'll see you then, and uh, keep subscribing and let your friends know about me, and rate, comment, and subscribe to Frankie Slauson Show. Bye-bye.